It looks cool, but then it looks goofy. What's up ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying your day. Yesterday we started the vlog in the exact same spot in the Duramax, this time we have that thing in the back. Now I need to unload this thing, as you guys saw from yesterday's video. Yes, I picked this thing up, but I also told you that it has some problems. Saying that, I'm not sure how I'm going to take this thing off by myself. Let the chaos begin. I'm sure this is as good as time as any to see if this thing starts on its own. Oh, no seat belt and helmet light. There's the wrench. Wench doesn't work. It says it's a neutral. I'm pushing the clutch in. Nope, it don't sound good. Yeah, something's not right. Dang. Oh, maybe that won't fill up. But maybe. I was looking up how these things get so wrecked. This is why. I can see how you can screw up a machine like this now. How that tie rod end bent? I don't know. It broke my freaking blade. Crazy. Oh, wait. It's an ATM, right? Yeah. How bad is it? It's correct. I was just actually going to start a time lapse and you guys walked right in. You're probably in the shot. It's a KTM. That's right. <laughs> I never understood how you could like break. Like when I first got it, I didn't understand how you could break CV axles. You see how this is. You probably can't see that. That's yeah, broken. Yeah. That other one's completely out. Oh, yeah. But like I'm like how the heck do you damage it that much? But then I went online and saw UTV crashes. Oh, oh, oh. I understand how you can frig stuff up really quick. A lot of things are busted. Tie rod? Yeah, it was bent. it off? No, it was bent and I cut it off to get it off the trailer. I couldn't get it off because it was just this tire was spun this way and that tire was spun. Yeah, it had light shot. Door still opens, which is good. But when I go to turn it over. There's some electrical issues. Like it sounds like it's zzz, zzz, kind of thing. Nope, it don't sound good. But it only has 35 miles on it. The hour gauge continues to, here, don't, don't bother shutting it. The hour gauge, for some reason, it was at 152 when I bought it. I think it was 152.2 or 0.3 or something. But now it's up to 157.7. What? Yeah. So the hour gauge, for some reason, turns on and off. So 35 miles, but yet he was super prepared, like in the fact that he had, or she, had slime. Like, Some type of bearing here. Yeah. I don't see how you're really that prepared over only 35 miles, but. So I don't know. Something goes in here. Uh, I'm gonna say that the uh, power meter, it must like turn on. Randomly, right? It must like run the electronics and then the clock runs up. Mm -hmm. You have to see, does it have a thousand marks? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, it looks it looks blank. So you're saying it's like a thousand thirty-five. Well, it's actually got here. It's got five marks. Okay. So right if you start it? No, it's it it says it starts. The listing said it starts, but it don't. That's the that's that's, kind of that's the sway bar. Those are the links I bought. I bought heavy duty ones, mm -hmm. but this one didn't even come with it. I don't think there's any plastics missing. I think it's really that wide open. Yeah, I think so they, too. They really just spent some money on some freaking lights on it. Didn't they? Yeah, they got rear view lights. They they went all out on the light bars. These guys wanted to see when they when they went to wreck. Can can this? Oh my God. I don't know. I, I was thinking about taking this whole roof off and kind of seeing the electrical problem first and starting there. 
This is kind of oh, yeah. ghetto fabulous. Oh, that is for? I know that's for. For the radiator. So the chickens don't get out. I like it. I love it. It's gonna be a big project. <laughs> that's for sure. We'll get to it. Radio looks like. Look at the speakers. Who that's needs a radio? The best part of the radio. I think that'd be sick, but I don't know how to work it. That's copyright infringement though, Jake. We can't ever have that on, so it's really pointless. Unless we rock some copy free music, copyright free music. Yeah. The wench uh, thing is like right there in the, yes. uh, yep, right there. That's not working either. There's just a bunch of electrical issues. You know who we need on this mission right now? Jason. Jason would figure it right out in like three seconds. <laughs> Jason, help us. It looks cool, but then it looks goofy because that tie rod screwed up while it's actually, you know, ground in half. What I'm trying to evaluate here is what part of the frame or, or what is bent here? Is it the roll cage? Is it the actual frame? Like what's throwing this thing off kilter, right? So like right here, you can see that these almost mesh up. I mean, it's only like an inch away. You see what I'm saying there? And then you come over on this side and then they're, they're close, but the thing is, is this piece has to be over on this side. So is it is it this joint that's bent, or is it something in here that's bent? I'm thinking I'm gonna somehow make this thing level. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that frame stuff right yet, but that is you know something that's quite alarming. Um, I think the most, I think the biggest problem though that I should focus on is the fact that this thing doesn't start. So let's start there. Danny's been helping me. Danny's off camera right now. Um, he's been helping me with the. Uh, the continuity with the wires. Um, I'm about to remove the maintenance free battery. I don't know how true that statement really is. One thing's for sure, we're gonna clean and charge this thing. Danny, those are some lady killers. I like those. Thank you. <laughs> Danny, you're, you're now the cameraman again. Thank you. Okay, this is my first or my second machine ever that actually has the toolkit. My uh, Bruin had it, but that was because uh, my parents and I bought that brand new when I was in fifth grade. But this, this has a toolkit in it. I'm happy. It's even got a, a pressure tester. What we want to do is take the fuel tank out of this thing so that I can drain it, start, start froggy fresh, and then that way we don't have any contaminants going through the fuel system. So I believe the fuel tank is somewhere under here because this is a cap right here. I have to say one thing right now. If I'm gonna drive my last 35 miles, I hope I drive it as good as this guy did. Because if he seriously only put 35 miles on it, he rode the crap out of this thing and he found the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. As you can see, I have the seat out. I can see the gas tank clearly. Um, everything's just dirty. I mean, that's to be expected. It's an off-road machine. I just personally don't think that it only has 35 miles on it. Uh, the transmission fluid looks good. There's the dipstick right there, if you can see that. And then back here, I discovered something that is a good thing, but a bad thing. And Dalton, what do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you why. You see how this doesn't have any uh, sway bar links? Like there's nothing going from this sway bar to this control arm. Well, um, there's supposed to be a link there that hooks those two up, which is a bad thing. But now back here, you can see on the sway bar, there's this little clamp, I guess you could call it. Now that clamp is aftermarket, which means you're riding this thing. You're riding it hard. I mean, obviously, you, have you seen it? So that's a good thing that he bought those for me because I was going to buy those. However, he already rode with them on, or, or she already rode with them on, which is kind of like, uh-oh, because like this thing has been ridden obviously, right? So I have this the sway bar links coming. They actually should have been here, but uh, the sender sent the wrong parts. So I ended up with like a master cylinder for like a car. Don't ask me. But I'm waiting on my battery to charge to see if our electric is, is good because I've done some continuity testing. I know what wires go to the winches. I know what wires go to what thing. I just wanna see if the battery is shot or if there's like a computer that's shot, hopefully nothing shot. Hopefully we're just A-OK -okay and there was just a bad connection. Something's telling me though that it's not gonna be that easy. The listing did say it would start though. I 
had to come downtown real quick and get some lunch and take care of you guys at the post office. I want to give a couple of you guys some shout outs real quick. So we got Tony S, Bentley J, Ryan C, I like that last name, Keith G, Jason S, Alan O, Sierra M, Zachary E, Brian G, Lonnie H, Kevin M, Tanner B. Thank you guys for helping the orange build. Goodbye, XZ. And, and you're looking froggy fresh doing it. I have two things to ask you guys. One thing is, should we name this thing something? I, I have a few names right now. If you have any ideas, you know, put them in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate that. We'll have a poll. So far I have Dax, like D-A-X. I have Slim. And then I have Machine Z because it's a YXZ. And then do any of you have any side-by-sides or, or Yamaha? If you have a Yamaha, I'd really appreciate hearing from you because I'm trying to figure out what some of these measurements are for the roll cage or for the frame. I'm not sure which part is bent. I don't know if it's down here or if it's the roll cage itself or what. Next question is, is where the heck is the dipstick on this thing? How do I see how much oil is in it? To be honest with you, I have no idea where to start. I, I have no idea what I'm thinking right now. I'm, I'm really pumped. I'm hoping this doesn't pan out like the Kodiak where it's just a complete piece of junk. I'm hoping this thing runs really good. I'm hoping that it drives really good once you replace the CV axles and that tie rod. I actually bought the other side too because for some reason the listing says that these things are aluminum, but I don't think that's true because when I ground it, it was throwing sparks. Aluminum does not throw sparks. So yes, we tore it apart, but that's how we're gonna find all the problems. That's how we're gonna dive in and find solutions. I am excited, hope you're guys excited. This is only the beginning. We're gonna make this thing the froggiest, freshest thing that 3D Machines has done. I got to a point with the Gator when I realized it just wasn't what I really wanted to do. This thing is what I wanna do. We'll see you guys later, enjoy your day, and be a machine.